What's up, guys? It's the girl here on my game board, and today we are going, we are going to play our personal space. I love space, like literally, just the Milky Way, the Gal. Wait, I think the Milky Way is the galaxy. <laughs> um, Earth, Pluto, Mars. I feel like Pluto is not even a planet anymore. They say he's a planet again. I don't know. I don't know if he's a he or she. I don't know. I just call him he. So we're gonna play our personal store. I kind of already started. Because I didn't know what this game was about until I really started and I'm spinning all over my camera. So we are going to go and see what this game I sort of played it a little bit. I already started. I am a, um, a space, oh my god, I'm an astronaut working in astronaut space. And I have, I think I'm married to a husband, I don't know. I just call him a friend. I call him a friend named Alex. I made a kid. I made Okay, so where do I go? I like the little snow. Mm -hmm. Alright, so anyways, here we go. Hey there! Oh, hey there, Maya Nani. I've been thinking a lot about us lately. How I want to be with you all the time. Is this Alex or... I don't know. How I keep thinking about you, even when I'm up to my knees in Maduro. Was that romantic or what? I don't know! Oh my god, I think this was Alex. I think we went to like our first day. Oh my god. I don't know, let's keep finding out. I don't know if you just can see that actually. Ugh. Alright, anyways. Oh, me. Somehow that is romantic. Oh god, I hope you guys can see that. No, you guys cannot. How I can't imagine how a woman could be more perfect like than you. Who's, who said that? Who said that? Okay, I don't know who said that, I'm scared now. <laughs> alright, alright, let's see. Uh, blah, blah, blah. If he thinks I'm perfect, he's... I don't know that word. Desirable? I don't know. Um, oh, I can shrink it. I forgot I can shrink my camera. I know I have to turn my camera around for you guys because I have no idea what's going on. Right now. Okay, so how I can't imagine blah, 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 how it's time we said goodbye to this town and started something new. Wait, what? We're leaving our own town? What? Oh, how I love, how I love your heart, but your soul every minute of the, every day. Anyway, I want you to tell you more in person. So, so come to my folks tonight for a barbecue, okay? Right after work. Love your Alex. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, so I actually forgot about this. It's, I'm like in chapter two or something. I forgot that Alex was actually, me and Alex got married, and we wanted to work in the space, in space. But right now, I'm actually in the hospital, and I'm working right now. And I literally forgot about that. Oh my god, we did got married, we are working in the hospital. I'm trying to freaking get my camera to work here. It does not want to, alright. Oh, I skipped a lot, oh well. What are you thinking about? Ugh, I don't know how to do a guy voice. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Nani, have you thought about what's out there? Out? Where? In space. So many stars, so many worlds. Did you know they are sending colonists to... The hell? <laughs> to Talama? Yes, it's only about four, li four lights years away. People could breathe there, grow things, live there. I thought, why? Cool, maybe. Cool. Really? That would. Wow, this is me. Really? That would be so. That would be so exciting. What a challenge it would be! Different animals, plants, even different seasons. Why are you so interested in this planet all of a sudden? I'm going there, Nani, to tell what? What the? Oh, really? I don't. I didn't know you were an astronaut, Alex. <laughs> You're serious, aren't you? Oh my God, we're going to go to space! Are we really going to go to space? 
They need farmers to come start the colony, and I want to go. It's a chance to leave this world behind and focus on things that are really matter in life. And you know my parents are getting older. Farming on Tamaya will be enough that I can help my folks retire. I want you to come with me. As my I knew it. Dumb. As my wife, you're a great doctor. You don't need those there. I felt shocked. It sounded really annoyed. <laughs> okay, I do not feel annoyed. I do feel a little bit worried. I am excited and I'm shocked. Damn. Ah, oh, damn. This is really, really hard. Mmm. Oh, this is so hard. I'm a bit excited. Oh, Alex. Oh my god. Oh, Alex. I can't think of anything that would make me happy. Really? You want to? You want to? You want to go? That's what you need. I think these the game developers need to fix some things. I really don't know. Alex, I would love to create a new life together, even if it is on a different planet. Who wants to go to space and go up to that Tamalanian, whatever? They, oh, wow. And so, we got married. My mother cried. She knew we were going to space and she could probably never see me again. Or any grandkids. My father didn't even come from, seriously, just grinned. I felt good knowing he was happy for me. I didn't want to put that, those two, cause I was starting to get the feels, guys. I was about to cry. I was like, if my father was there and I was going to, if my father was not there and he knew that I was going to space, he knew, I told him, okay, let's just say that I'm going to space, I got married, and my dad, my father was not there. I would be sad and I'll be crying because he wasn't there. And if he was there, he'll be frowning, not looking happy. And if he was there, probably he'd be, he probably would be just grinning, going like, eh, like, girl, but I know that in real life, right now, if I got married, I probably, my dad will cry not letting go of his little girl because I'm his little girl. I'm his first little girl ever. And I have no idea why I'm doing this. <laughs> Let's just go because, oh my god, I'm in the fields, guys. Alright. So, my mind was so full of thoughts of the future, I almost didn't notice when it, my when it was my turn to say, I do. It felt like a dream. You could tell from the wedding presents that people were thinking about how we never see Earth again. We got a lot of survival gear, but we couldn't bring most of it and stay under the package quote for the colony trip. My favorite gift was the music, a Swiss army knife, a locket, a locket with Alex picture. My mouse, oh yeah, a locket with Alex picture. I thought it was kind of weird. His mom gave it to me, but now I understand she was sharing with me her most precious possession of all, her son. That would be cool. You all ready to go? But hey, I'm black. I'm caramel. <laughs> Is that our nicknames now, Blackberry? Because I do not look like a blackberry to you, young sir. Does this look like a blackberry to you? No, no, no. Hell no, I do not. I'm sorry. I snapped. <laughs> Are you all ready to go, Blackberry? Blackberry? I should be mad. Don't you like it? I thought it was cute. Boy, I ain't... What should he call you? I would be more passionate if you call me Sweetie. You could call me Sweetie. All right, then. You're my Sweetie. I realized I didn't have a name for him. I thought fast and decided to call him... Dear, <clears throat> nah, lover, honey, something else. Mm, should I call him? Well, we are married, so I should call him lover. But more importantly, I should call him honey. And you're my honey. You're calling me honey? Well, okay, you can call me whatever you want as long as you come with me on that shuffle today. Oh, shut up! Damn it. What are you Honeymoon on board a crap space shuttle with 200 other people for a month. 
Oh god. Of course, back on Earth, four years have passed since we were traveling so close to the light speed. Damn. We spent a lot of it talking about the future. So, sweetie, what do you think about, oh, having kids? In general, or us specifically? You and me, becoming parents. Sounds kind of crazy, doesn't it? That doesn't sound crazy. I don't know, that's really crazy. Having kids on space. I gotta think about this one. What should I say? Okay, so I, he wants to have kids. But it kind of, that does not sound crazy at all. I would love to have kids. Probably I should say I don't know. I'll, uh, that doesn't sound crazy. I don't think that's crazy. We're both adults. We know we can provide a good home. What more is there to wait for? Yeah, you're right. I think you'd be a great mom, and well, I probably wouldn't mess the kids up too much. You will be a wonderful father, as long as you don't treat the kids the way you treat your horse. Hey, I'm good too, Liddy. Too good. You'll spoil the kids with, with treats. We talked about lots of other things, of course. We talked about what we would miss from Earth. What and what our families were probably doing. We studied what the pre scientists have reported so far. Oh wow, that's so beautiful. That is so beautiful! Alright, even though telling Amy was te technically a garden plant, excuse me. I'm hungry. <laughs> Where were we? Garden, garden, planet, planning, meaning humans could breathe. There were plants and animals animals it was only super thick and low, like more than earth the plants looked familiar but hard but had completely different biologies and most of the animals were more like protocytomus or insects i cannot read today what the hell what the hell time will tell you it will be different too days last longer but a year is only about two thirds of a year on earth damn <laughs> holy crap holy shit the planet the planet was also a lot less protected from its small sun since it was closer than earth oh my god i am yawning either then i am tired or i need to eat i probably need to eat <laughs> That's why there had had step up a warning system to tell everyone when a solar flare was coming. That's good. Time fell on the ship too, though there was no sunrise or sunset. They did dim. They they did dim. They, what? They dim? They did dim the the lights up for ten hours every night. One night came, I came. To our room and found a surprise for me. Happy birthday, Nanny. What? It's not my birthday. Actually, according to Earth, time you had two birthdays while well, we've been traveling, it seemed to seem sad to let them go by without any sort of celebration. So while well, it's not it's not much, but I wanted to make sure I didn't forget. She parked on the computer pad to, to display happy birthday now. And there's some sort of streamers hanging down from the ceiling and is that cake on the table? Cake! You use toilet paper for streamers? That's that's real that's a real kid. definitely unexpected. It's very different. We're trying to be polite, but I can tell you we don't really like it. But that's okay. What matters is that it's fun change, right? Anyway, who cares about the dessert? I think you need to open a present. A present? Where on earth did you find something? Ha ha. Ha ha. Not on earth. That's for sure. Here. It's wrapped in a hand cloth. It looks like a pole. 
Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Surrounded by stars and darkness and stars, and present the universe forth. Through, sorry, guys. cake but but every time he says but I get scared but I tried to make some out of what I could get just to so much from what it and tell me if it's good it looks like chocolate but just try it it tastes like bread with sugar chocolate on it in fact is it it is a piece of bread sprinkled with sugar with pieces of chocolate pressed into it oh so cute that is actually that is actually kind of good here try some Oh, thanks. Where did you get these ingredients in the show we only get chocolate once a week? I've been saving them. You sneaky little bastard. This sugar is from our coffee reach. Louisiana? Isn't it? You it without sugar and your weekly chocolate so you could make this for me and your weekly chocolate. Well, I couldn't find... I couldn't think of any other way to get you something yummy. Sorry if it's not much, but happy birthday. Thank you, Alex. Ugh. Thank you, Alex. It's the best space birthday I ever had. You're welcome. Oh, I want to go to space now. I actually thought about when I grow up, I'm, I'm, I'm probably just... I'm still going to be a YouTuber, that's for sure. But like, I just, I want to go to space. I want to be like an astronaut. I don't know why. Plus, I was going to go to another zoo when I grew up. I would have had a seat. I don't know what to be when I grow up. I don't to be a YouTuber for all my life. All right, so here we go. He pulled me closer, he jumped to hug, then held me tightly as if I would draft off into space with him. together to get everyone's houses up right away. The first one took the longest as we had to figure out how to put it all the, to put all the pieces together. If that planet's real, I want to go there. But when I looked at the map of the colony's layout, our farm was our farm was at the very edge. Oh god, that's scary. Why is our house so far from everyone else? <laughs> Yep. 
proper stuff. Not bad, not bad. I look pissed. <laughs> Why do I look pissed, honestly? Stop looking pissed, me. With green eyes and long hair and I don't know what you're wearing. <laughs> It's easy to clean, and it's quiet, and it's cozy, just for the tools. Stuff. This is so cool. I like the background. I have no idea why I did this for. I'm crazy today. We dragged in our bunk from the shuttle and put our beading on it. Afterwards, Alex started putting up a piece of paper he unfolded from his bag. When I got closer, I could see it was a picture of his family. I realized I hadn't brought any pictures of my family. He put it right next to the side of the bed. you put that somewhere else boy I mean me I'm no you <laughs> you are a one rude little son of a pie hole when was this taken do you miss them I'm gonna put them do you miss them a lot do you miss them a lot I bet I don't know if that was this place I'll miss my family a lot cuz you don't know if you're coming back alive or dead or Worse, blow up in space or something. I don't know. Jesus Christ, people have been blown up. Plus, we said that they found stupid things. I mean, not stupid things, but stupid things, cool stuff. I am hungry. <laughs> How many of I do I don't know. This, this was taken at my parents' farm a few years ago. My sister, her husband, and their kids drove for two days to come and visit, and little and my little brother flew in from overseas. We won't be getting together like that again. I've been here from them lately, and now they wrote me a lot in the shadow. They wrote me all the time, but the messages took longer and longer to reach us. So I haven't heard from them. How's your mom? I know she's sick. She's probably better. She's probably better by now, but it takes so long for them. Messages to get through. There's no way to know for sure. I'm sorry, Alex. I didn't know. It's alright. They're important to me, but you're my family now. We kissed and looked out the window at the alien hills surrounding our little cabin. It felt surreal, but I like like I was in a movie theater and any moment the lights would come up and the credits rolled. I held Alex tightly. He was here. He was real. Once we arrived, we soon settled into routine. Every day we would work on the farm while I worked as a doctor. I had a little free time after work. Then we ate dinner together. After dinner, we ch we tried to relax, mostly. There was plenty of things I would choose to do in my free time, but usually choose just one or two to focus on. I couldn't have to be good at everything. I wanted to get really good at a few things. But maybe if I had made different choices, would things be different? Did all these little decisions, did all these, those little decisions really matter? At least some of them did. All right, so guys, I'm gonna stop this video right here. Um, I'm actually gonna go. See. So, guys, I'm going to stop this video right here. If you like this video, slap that like button in the face like you will slap 
a guy. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.